but as you can probably tell I'm being intentionally rough with this to see if there are any issues with the steel. So far nothing. If you chop into the wood and then twist it around like that, that puts a lot of stress on the blade. But so far it's all good. And I've got no problems with the handle. The way it's shaped, it conforms the hand well and the rubber seems to absorb some of the impact. So there is no shock or vibration going into the hand. And uh, yeah, feels good. Bites in very well. It just has a tendency to get stuck a little more easily than some other blades I've tried. Let's see how well it carves. If I say wanted to make a tent peg or an improvised spear or something like that. Okay, so I kind of have to choke up to do that. But that works pretty well. It's a bit long for this kind of task. Can be done, but it's not ideal. It would be better to have a, a smaller knife for that. Although, I suppose for a rougher job, you can always do it like this. Carving with this thumb push here isn't too easy either. For one, what I really notice is if you push hard on the spine, it's a little bit thin for that. So it gets rough on the thumb fairly quickly. It's a little easier down here. But yeah, I mean, unsurprisingly, this is not a carving knife. It's not designed as such. Would really be more of an improvised tool in that case. But for chopping, it's great. You can probably see how easy it is, aside from getting stuck. But it just bites very deep. Couple of swings and it's done. Okay, let's see how well it batons. Should be pretty easy. No problem. When batoning, I noticed some hand shock, which is not surprising. By the way, sorry for the limited video quality. It's almost too dark for the camera to handle. Even though it's only one or two in the afternoon, it's a very overcast day and in the woods here, it's uh, rather dark but I don't get out here very often, so I just have to do it now. Now I'm going to try some throwing. Clear abuse, this is really just to test the durability. <laughs> if I could make it stick, that would be nice. There. As always with knife throwing, with a spin throw that is, it's just a matter of figuring out the right distance or the correct grip for that distance. Get the proper number of ro rotations and then you can do it consistently. I haven't practiced enough to be able to figure all of that out intuitively. So I'll have to go by trial and error. But uh, yeah, it seems to work quite nicely. I wish I could record slow-mo footage, but for that it's really too dark. I'll try to find a brighter spot, but it's still not great. Well, that was great. <laughs> Bounced off like crazy, but no damage. Yeah, I think we can leave it at that. Goes to show that it's not easily damaged.
People often associate this kind of blade shape with sort of an axe-sword hybrid. So could you use this as a bit of a substitute axe? Not really. An axe is substantially more powerful and more well suited for wood chopping, but I'm just gonna give it a try here. So I found a dead tree. I don't know just how rotten the wood inside is, if this works out well, but we'll see. So. not a very heavy blade so I have to put quite a bit of force into it the blade doesn't help me a whole lot and also because it is oh, relatively thin it's not it's not terribly thin but compared to an axe it just gets stuck more often so then I have to wrench it free and then give it the next swing so it takes quite a bit more effort to do this compared to a tool that is really designed for it. I mean, as you can see, it would do it eventually, but it's not, not a lot of fun to do, let's put it like that. You pick the tools according to what they're designed for. And uh, in a pinch, this can do a lot, but it's really more for light and medium chopping. A couple more wax from the other side and then I'll leave it at that. Let's see, I'll try to make sure to strike it in just the right spot. does reasonably well for a blade of its weight. But uh, yeah, lots of effort. Yeah, I think that'll be enough of that. Well, this seems like quite a well-made tool. I like it so far. The only thing is I wish the finish was a little more durable. Of course, that's going to be a common issue. If you have a blackened finish like this, it is going to wear. There's nothing really you can do about that. But I feel like there's a little quick. The, the tip here, I mean, okay, there was a lot of penetration into wood, but here, the edge, I've had blades where the finish lasted a bit longer than that it's just cosmetic no big deal but it would be nice if it was a tad more durable